Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project online examination system and this is uh, Android application with web application means I have developed the web app for managing the exams and there is also an, an Android app where students can give their exams register on the portal means register through mobile app and you will be able to give the exams right so there are two types of interface here i have developed the first one is android application which is developed uh, which i have developed in java that is the native application and the second one is the web application that is in php and mysql using the bootstrap theme also uh, the api we have used uh, uh, api we are using for rendering data from the database on the android application on the android phone so the api we have developed in php and mysql right so let's start with the functionality go through normally i have already explained to you about the technology stack right the android application we have developed in native android and in the web application i have developed in php and mysql right and api in also in the php and mysql right the version for the php i'm using is a php version 7 and mysql version is 5.6 and i am running this project on jam server if you have jam server then you can easily set up your server uh, the web application project on that server and you can run the android application using the ip right so let's start with the functionality go through right so i am explaining you about the android application first right so this is the android studio i have used uh, for developing this project you can see this is all of the android studio uh, files right you can see this is the native android app android app right so if you if you have the code then you can import this project the android application in the android studio and and you can import the project man you can place your web app into the jam right and after uh, deploying the php and mysql web application on the jam you can get your ip using the ip config right and you can configure the ip here inside the uh, utilities the e constant here right and that api will be connected with your mobile app right so for running this project first uh, uh, first import the android application in the android studio and run it right so once you run it you will get this uh, so i am using uh, emulator right you can see it's loading so you can see this is the splash form and this is a animated splash form i am using the logo and this is the online examination system where a student can log in without login you will not be able to my student will not be able to access the internal pages internal android pages right internal functionalities right so if you don't have user id and password if you don't have email and password then you can register from here so click on the new and register here and after that you can register from here right once you uh, register then after uh, registration you can use your email id and password for login right you can upload your photo here also just click on the plus button and after that you can uh, uh, take the photo right okay now i am going to log in so for login i'm clicking the back button so the user id is student and the password is test login so once you log inside the system then you will get this right so each and every student is associated with his course right suppose if a student is registered for the bca then he will only be able to see the bca course bca course subjects right so php and java belongs to the bca if a student belongs to the mca then a student will be able to see subject which is associated with mca and so on right so these two subjects is belong to the students right so there are two uh, options exams here php and the java exam once you click on the php exams you will be able to see the questions right you can see question number one is coming here and you can select the options here option one and then int stands for integer all variable php starts with the simple dollar right and what is the correct way to end the php statements this is a semicolon and often attempting all of the questions right 
what is the full form of php that is the php hyper test right and once you click on the done then it will show you your result you can see php exam this is the exam which you have uh, attempted an exam for php programming your result is total question is five and the correct answer was uh, three and the wrong answer was two and your result is pass right so on this way this is working right all of the data is coming from the database using the api right even if you want to attempt the java exam just click on the java and you can attempt the question here right and now so this is the my results you can see all of the results which you have attempted you can see there are three results three paper you have attempted 20 percent you got in first 40 percent in java and again 60 percent in php the passing mark is 50 percent and after that if you want to see the about us then this is the about us page the android page and then after that change password from here you can update your account password the login password <laughs> right and the uh, if you want to log out just click on the logout and you will be logged out from the system so this is the android application and this is a student based android application which student can use it only right so now comes on the web application what we have developed right so this is a web application and and i am running this project on the jam as i told you earlier right so the user id is teacher and password is test so, so the user id is admin and password is test once you log inside the system then you will get this one right so this is the add class add exam class report exam report student report right so this is all uh, report you have right this is all of the uh, functionality you can perform so let me go through one by one so this is the add class from here you can add the classes any classes you can add you can bca mca btech mtech any you can add any number of classes right add exam here you need to enter the quiz title means what is the quiz title select class what class that is exam belongs to the description of the exams once you so let me enter so this is the uh, suppose c sharp asp or android android development android development right and the class is for the bca description android development subject right once you click on the submit this is the android development right so you can add your questions here so you can click on the add and after that you can add any number of questions here right any number of questions you can add so uh, already we have two exams you can see um, there was two exams here and both belong to the mtech once if you want to see the question just click on the edit and you will be able to see all of the questions you can edit the questions you can update the question details you can update the options right okay so uh, let me go through on that page again so add class already explained you add exam this is the add exam option this is a class report all of the classes if you want to edit it just click on the edit and you can edit the options this is the exam report all of the exam papers means php exams java exams android development exams you can add the questions if you want to edit it just edit it right if you want to change the class then you can change the class here also right student report all of the registered students will be displayed here you can see all of the registered students will be coming here this is a my account section from where you will be able to update your account details my admin account details and the logout right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project in online examination system right and this is a major project uh, comes with web application as well as the android application development right and for connecting the web application with the uh, android application we are using the api right means uh, android on android we are rendering data through the api and api we have in php and mask right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project if you need more functionalities if you need amendments inside this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes I will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest causes thanks for watching the video thank you very much